These were just some not very well done, but quick pictures of the work I was doing before I got to Chesterwood. Um, there's that. And these are, these are French, French's pieces. Let me see what this is called. I've forgotten the name. Um, the Spirit of Life. you got over here and then oh but I like this one because this picture has the little model in the corner oh yes tell me about that Lincoln Memorial well part of why it uh, affected me two things and since that time, I've done more actual portraiture. I hadn't done much before that. And it's very hard, you know? Um, and you're, what you're focused on is getting a likeness. You know, that's, that's the, the hard part, especially if, you're, if you're, you've got a living model. It's like, you know, just like, what expression is the right expression to capture the spirit? So, um, but the other thing is, what all sculptors of the figure face, which is, what do you put it on? You know, like the pedestal, basically, that problem. And so the idea that French, first of all, seated the Lincoln, that's very interesting because part of what Lincoln was so famous for was how tall he was. You know, that he was a freak. He was like a monster almost, you know. Um, and so the idea of seating him, but the seating, it, ha it has another, first of all, uh, if you think about the, the building that was being built, to accommodate it, the memorial, which French was involved with right from the beginning. And I've forgotten now if that was also Henry Bacon. It was, right? Um, if you stand a tall figure in that space, you're, only you're using much less of the space. Th this is the thing sculptors think about, you know? You're, you're, you're not occupying as much space in the building if it's just a tall. So I'm sure the, this is part of the thinking that must have led also to French choosing to seat the figure. And then building the, the seat to, uh, to basically echo the building, the details of the building, the classical quality of the building. The, the, these things, I've forgotten what they're called now, but the columns with the like a fascia, like a Roman. Yes, uh, that's what, that's the fascist, right? And um, but then it gave him these other ways to humanize Lincoln. So the idea of the placement of the feet, and all of these things have become, uh, as Donna has told me to. I mean, and and I learned even before Donna was there, all of these things have gotten picked up by viewers and they're, you know, they're elaborated on, you know, the, the whole idea. There's a whole, trivial. Yes. The whole idea of like what the hands are doing, that was the primary one. Like what, what did he mean by the hand gestures? Um, Do you know that those are the hands of, uh, of uh, French? Yes, I did know that. That's, that's very interesting too, the fact that, you know, he casted his own hands too. Yeah. Um, he also made Lincoln more handsome than he was, hmm. I, I feel, from having looked at loads of pictures he's, of Lincoln. He's definitely not my type. Lincoln? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Judith's my 